Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a swatch party featuring the Natasha Denona Love Palette. In this video, I decided to do with the swatches in a different format than how I've been doing them, just so you can see the shadows a little more up close and personal, and it's not like me awkwardly holding my arm up the entire time, and you getting a lovely view of my armpit. So, I also give some really good close-up shots of the palette. This is what it looks like. This is a beautiful palette. It is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. It just has all the tones that I love in it and really amazingly beautiful shimmers, which that's what I love in a palette. So, if you would like to see swatches of the Natasha Denona Love Palette, then just so, keep watching. So, first I just wanted to give you a, like, good quality up close shot of the palette, just because I feel like it's important to see a comparison of what the shades look like in the palette compared to what they look like swatched out. And then, you know, of course, they'll definitely look a little bit different actually applied to the eye. So this is what they look like when they're just in the pan. And now we're going to Hey guys, so I'm currently editing this video that you're watching right now, and for some reason the first two swatches, like first two two and a half swatches, didn't actually record. I don't know what happened. So let me just grab the palette so I can show you what the shades were real quick, like because that they're just gone like i literally don't know what happened to them so the first two shades that i swatched were this one oh this is weird were this one right here called first and this one called lifetime and even though you won't be able to see the live swatch of it you will be able to see what it looks like after it's been swatched out so i'm really sorry about that i truly don't know what happened but let's just continue with the video <laughs> forget that I don't like swatching with my middle finger because it has less pressure and it just swatches weird and that shade is like a deep burgundy red. Next we have the shade called Transparent which is very similar in depth to Lifetime but obviously this one is a lot more pink. This one's like a true rose gold shade and then we have the shade Trust, which is a beautiful mid, like, cool-toned purple. Next, we have the shade Heart, which is a pure red. And this one is very buildable, but it also is pretty sheer on first application. Then we have the shade Giving, which is a gorgeous, sparkly, like orange pink dual curl and that shade is kind of more of a lid topper next we have the shade called pure love and this is i think my favorite shade from this palette it is again kind of like a dual chrome it's a lot less sparkly than the shade giving but this one kind of goes from like purple to red and this again is kind of more of a topper shade then we have the darkest shade in the palette, which is called Commitment, and in the pan, it looks like a intense black, but swatched out, you can see that it's actually just a really, really deep purple. And this is the Natasha Denona kind of cream to powder formula, and I think that this formula actually works really, really great with deep shades. This is the shade called Blind, and it is blinding. It is the most intensely pigmented, most beautiful silver eyeshadow that I have in my collection. It is so metallic and creamy, and I really, really enjoy that shade. Then we have a matte called Soul, and this is kind of a warm toned mid pink. Next we have the shade Passion, which is a deep, like red maroon burgundy shimmer shade and it's super super gorgeous it's stunning like look at that sparkle in there and then we have the shade intense which is another matte pink and as you can see it's a lot lighter and a little bit more warm than the shade soul then we have the shade valentine which is a light toned pink and valentine 
actually shows up a lot darker on the eye than it does look in the pan. So that definitely took me by surprise the first time I used it and I just wanted to really make sure that I mentioned that because it most likely will take others by surprise as well. And then the last shade in this palette is not my most favorite shade in this palette but I still think it's really pretty. That is the shade called Dream and again it is that cream to powder formula and it I think that Trust, which is this one, Commitment, and Dream actually make a really pretty eye look all paired together, but this one is just a little bit harder to work with and you really gotta take your time to blend it out and pack the color on. So this is the entire Natasha Denona Love Palette swatched out. We have First, Lifetime, Heartbeat, Transparent, Trust, Heart, Giving, Pure Love, Commitment, Blind, Soul, Passion, Intense, Valentine, and Alright, and that is it for this swatch party. I hope you enjoyed it. That is the Natasha Denona Love Palette. Again, like I said in my intro, I love the love palette it is such a beautiful palette it has just so many tones that i absolutely adore and you guys saw it this shade in the swatches blind is actually amazing obsessed i love this palette 10 out of 10 would recommend if you think you would enjoy it get it so that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video i hope you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you go and hopefully i will see you in my next one bye